Hello. Welcome back. Sorry about my squeaky chair. It's a cute little chair. Look at this. I know last time I said that I would shave my head fully, and I kind of did. Look at this. I feel like I aged backwards. I feel like I am 20 years old again, maybe 19. Look at this. I looked in the mirror and I was like, bruh. I came across a video and I've been wanting to change. Not change like who I am, but change how my mindset and my brain works. You know, for the past two weeks, two and a half weeks, I've been splurging on eating everything that I want. I've been indulging in all the pies at Christmas, even even Thanksgiving, if I really think about it. Ever since the Thanksgiving holidays started, my habits just took a tumble. My mind has been on a on a fucking rant at me. I just am feeling that I need a change. And even my barber told me, he was like, yeah, you know, change is really good. And I wasn't even talking to him about anything change related and he was he just said it out of nowhere and i believe that was just like a you know the universe telling me hey bro get your shit straight and dial in on yourself okay next story next coinkadink that i went through i will probably put like a little video clip of it here dink you know because everyone's got their guilty pleasure he said look about one year ago i decided to turn my life around when i used to smoke a shit ton of weed i say to myself all the time when i go and light up that backwood that first one of the day i'm really looking forward to smoking this but deep down inside like i know it's not right to be smoking so much and i feel like i know what i have to do in order to achieve that sort of next step in my life and being happier having more self fulfillment i just know what i needed to do i'd always tell myself like man you know what you need to do. Like, why aren't you doing it? He dialed in for three months and he noticed a big difference. I know we always set big goals in the beginning of the year. And we're like, oh, yeah, by next year, I'll be this and this and this. But I think what's more important is setting shorter goals and more achievable goals, which also pile up to bigger ones. The more you achieve, the more little things that you can try to achieve for more than the big picture itself will have a how do i say this have a compounding effect one of the greatest wonders in the world compound compound interest compound effect who said that what i know that's a big thing in like the financial worlds but anyways i want to dial in for the next three months and i think this would help me on my little creativeness journey that i'm going through um i will maybe try to document most of it and have like little chats like this you know with my squeaky chair <laughs> i already wrote it on my journal here don't know if you can read that you see the signature that's how you know it's official but Anyways, on here, it says, drug-free, eating right, back to my habits these next three months. And in that, I might, in, in that, I might add, like, creating new habits, you know, finding more, finding more peace in my day-to-day -day life, being more present. The very end, I wrote, I know what I need to do, stop caving to cravings. And that's what I'm going to title this video. Stop caving to cravings. And cheers. I'll take my green tea with some honey in it. Cheers to bettering ourselves. I hope um, you were somewhat inspired by this video. I hope to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Um, yeah, let me know. Tell me some good recipes I should try. I'm going to try to cook more too. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. Peace. From Half Bald Man. <laughs>